wasn't even recording. Can you imagine? So here we go all over again. This is the crystal message from the crystal spirit deck having to do with your money, honey. Welcome to Manifesting Money Mondays. And I believe this is the card. No, that was for the other channel. Um, yes, this is the card that we're going to talk about as well. As I give you the second part of our message having to do with the ebb and flow of money, the giving and receiving of money, and how that can assist you in your manifestation. So this message here is about having financial integrity. This is about making choices that honor you. This is about standing um, on whatever your, your values are and not allowing other people to sway you when it comes to the decisions that you have to make about your money, having integrity, being fair, not being concerned about what other people think as it relates to your money decisions. Perhaps you have somebody, for example, who's leaning on you for money and is pushing you over your boundaries. And, 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 and whether you realize or not, you can't do the things that you need to do and you can't honor your own values and financial goals because you're busy losing money by giving it away to this other person or allowing them to make you feel like you owe them something. This is a time to stop and to contemplate that and to make sure that you're in alignment with your values, but also to make sure that you're being fair because having integrity with your money dealings gives you positive karma. Whatever we send out, we get back in return, right? So if you're in financial dealings that are not honorable, or if you're getting money from a source that is not an honorable source or some kind of way it trickles back and it harms somebody else, then that's something that you want to consider. The other message here has to do with the ebb and flow of money. And I wanted to read something to you. It says, I gracefully move with the ebb and flow of money. I gracefully receive and pay money. Now, this is really important. This is important because you have to understand that you are divinely supported, that your needs are being met. And at the level of where you are right now in your life, you're at your money set point. That's pretty much going to be where you are until and unless you do something to change the energy vibration around that money set point. So I say that to say what you're getting now and what you're able to do now with your money, that's going to continue to be that way for the most part. Um, you know, notwithstanding some major catastrophe. So most of us want to move beyond that money set point, which takes some extra efforts. But the reason why I bring attention to this, this aspect of it is because you can feel good about knowing that a certain amount is going to be coming in. Okay. And you can feel good about also letting go of a proportionately equal amount, depending upon how you look at it. And what I'm saying is this, we are grateful for what we receive in terms of our provisions and the things that we manifest, but we have to be as mindful of the energy that we put towards something when we have to pay a bill or when we have to pay something. Because what you're essentially doing is you are giving back or you are paying into something that you have either benefited from or something that you will benefit from. So what that means is like you should not have animosity and have ill will when it's time to take care of your bills. For example, okay, you had power, you had light, you had hot water. Those are things to be grateful for. So if you allow the negative energy of a bill and what the capitalist society is doing and what the corporate a, corporation A is doing, it's going to rob you of your peace. It's going to rob you of your gratitude. And it's going to put you in a negative energy space. So learn to be grateful and to feel good about taking care of your financial responsibilities. Number one, it frees you of emotional debt. All right, it allows you to release a heavy energy. Number two, it puts you in charge when you take care of your responsibilities, when you take care of your bills, when you know what your numbers are, you feel actually empowered. It becomes almost a fun hobby to look at your ins and outs, to look at the income and the expenses, to look at your budget, to make sure you're on point, to look at any investments that you may have or be involved in, to know where your money is going so that you can plan accordingly. And you may miss the mark when you first start doing this, but the more you do it, the more you train yourself, the more you build that muscle. So this is all about giving and receiving 
the ebb and flow to your financial life, the ability to give with grace, but to also receive with grace. Some of us are giving, 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 but we don't receive with grace. Most of us are receiving what is coming in in the way of abundance, but we are not as good about paying out and knowing that that giving and receiving is a universal divine principle and it has to work. If you hold money like this and you don't give it out, money will clot just like blood does. It is energy. So let me read one of the messages here for you. Um, for the scarcity side, it represents a woman who doesn't have a foundation or a path. She's always in financial catastrophe, struggling to make ends meet and drowning in despair. So the energy exchange or the concept here is that, you know, we as women can quickly identify areas to consolidate or women and men to consolidate, organize and strength to strategize the flow of money in home and business. Okay. Gracefully moving with the ebb and the flow. This also has to do when, with, with, with when money seems to slow down and, and, and when money is flowing very well, knowing that life is a, is a, is a, is a rhythm. Okay, there is a pattern and a flow to everything in this universe, and it always comes back around again. So being able to trust in that flow, to know that you are provided for, to know that your provisions will be met, to know that what goes up must come down. All right. This is also a part of your evolution. So she enjoys the exploration of life. She illuminates her visions with confident financial decision decisions. She moves with the ebb and flow of her money creations. She trusts the waves as they come in and go out. You hear that? She trusts the waves as they come in and as they go out. So you're with Tunisia Ali of Butterfly Transformations with your Manifesting Money Mondays. I will see you next week. Beautiful butterflies and perfect people. Have a prosperous and productive rest of your day.